Hi there and welcome to Sip and Shelley's DIY. Usually on this channel you will see Sip and Shelley making some sort of furniture or renovating something, but this week is a little bit different. Unfortunately, we've both been operated on, and this was just total coincidence, um, we've both ha we both are not allowed to lift anything, so we're not allowed to do any DIY. And we thought before leaving you without a film, we'd make one about furniture that we've already renovated. We're going to show this piece of furniture and we're going to tell you exactly what we've done to them. So now we're going to show you the top five pieces of furniture that we've got in our household. So the first piece of mid-century mid modern furniture is left and right of me and this is from a wall unit from the Royal System. So, like I said, this is our top five. So this is number five, the Royal, the Royal System unit, which is usually hung up on a system on a wall unit. But unfortunately, the wall unit wasn't with it. Um, so we decided hairpins underneath and we had to clean them. We polished them back up again. And on this unit especially, there was no drawer in it. So Mr. Sepp made us a drawer. This is the drawer he made. I'm going to bring it here and show you it exactly. It's made out of teak wood. As you can see, he made a frame all the way around and put a base on it. That's it, the drawer. Made it to match exactly like the other. The only difference is, is the teak wood that we had was from another piece of furniture. Didn't quite match in tone, but we decided that's okay. We use them as bedside tables in our bedrooms and we're quite happy with the results. So this is the number four. This is the Glostrup chair, my, uh, designed by Sven Aish Ericsson. And I know everyone in Denmark will laugh at me now, but I don't think we've got a lot of Danish viewers. So, but this is the Teak armchair and it's called the GM11. Now this chair, I've got a picture here of what they looked before. And of course, this is what it looks like now. What we did was we um, put no coverings on them. The wood, that was in a good condition, but the coverings were awful. They were, there was little animals in them even. It was just really horrible. Um, the covers had to come off along with the phone and everything else. Um, and then it got a little bit tricky. The seat coverings weren't a problem to do, but these back coverings were a real problem. And we tried to take the chairs apart first of all. We tried to take these arms off, but couldn't. Um, they are super, super glued into place. So then we had to make here the seating cover to go over the top. And then we had to make um, like a slit all the way around here so that we could get the material in so that you couldn't see where the join was. Originally these arms would have been put on afterwards after it was recovered but they are so well made pieces of furniture that that was just not possible. So now we're at number three. This is a coffee table come dining table, piece of furniture that we picked up from a building site. It had paint on it. It was got holes in it. Somebody had put nails in it. And I knew as soon as I saw it, saw it that this was an iconic piece of furniture and had to be saved. This is a table from Kai Christiansen, a Danish um, designer from the from the factory of Rilburg um, and it's called the elevator table and I'm going to show you now exactly what this table can do. Oh, this is furniture number two before we get to number one and you can't miss number one the number one was the best piece of furniture we ever did we salvaged a whole city a three-seater a two-seater and an armchair mm. yeah and an armchair 
from somebody who was just throwing it all away. There was no cushions, there was no strappings underneath, they were in an awful condition. Unfortunately, I haven't got a before photo. <laughs> um, but um, this is how they turned out. And these are actually our living room furniture. Yeah. yeah. Which we absolutely adore. The company is EMC, Danish Teak. I couldn't find out who the designer was, but this was actually totally saved from landing in the dump. So now we're coming to our best project, but before I start that, I'd like to ask you to subscribe, please. If you haven't already subscribed, you're missing out on something, so just subscribe. Uh, press the like button and you can comment down below. Perhaps you can comment and say which piece of furniture you like the best. So now we're down to the last piece of furniture. This is a Bavana chair from Finn Yule, made by the company France and Son. And I'm going to show you now a picture of what it looked like before. As you saw in the picture, the chair looked totally different to what it does now. The first thing we did was we took it apart and we got rid of all the upholstery. It smelled awful. It was just not right anyway, so that was just dumped. Then we uh, took the frame apart and tried to remove the lac that was on there. Um, we used a scraper and then we sanded and then we had to use a pin to get into every little grain to get rid of all the white marks. Once that was done, Mr. Set made two knobs because the knobs were totally different to what was in the picture. Um, these he turned on a lathe, nice new teak knobs. Then I did the upholstery. We did decided on red because all our furniture is red. So just to match so we can use it, it was all done in red. And now we've got a beautiful piece of furniture that was certainly safe from the dump and looks back original how it was in the 1960s. So leave us a comment which one, which piece of furniture you like the best, which one do you think we did the best? And we'll see you in a couple of weeks time with a new video. So ta-ta for now. Thank you.